All right, guys, so I created a little 3D blueprint, so to speak, of the outdoor metal waste receptacle, and I broke it into pieces to make it a lot quicker and efficient to model inside of Fusion. So I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe even seven major pieces, and I divided it in half with this little white line right here, right down the middle, so we can just revolve all of this and get it done even quicker. So I'm going to go to Create Sketch, select the, the plane, and from the center point, I'm just going to draw a line right down the middle really quick. So it doesn't really matter how far you go because the line is infinite. And to cancel that, hit OK. And from the center point to the edge of all these different pieces, I'm going to create rectangles. So I'm going to go to the top, the two-point rectangle, select that, and from the center point, all the way down to the bottom, about right here. We're going to ignore this little fillet right here, because we're going to do something later on in the sketch to encompass that, that shape. So from the center point to the bottom corner, and we're just doing this for all the little pieces. Let me go back to the top here to about here we're going to ignore this pipe because we're going to use that we're going to make this shape later on hit ok so we have all the rings done right now so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to fill it this so if I go to modify fill it and we automatically have that shape or if you can you can adjust it if you need to right click hit OK now we can go to finish sketch create revolve or you can just select the icon above and we're just gonna select all these profiles which is axes we're gonna grab that center point the center line hit OK and now we have the actual bodies that make up this this prop this asset so next I'm going to start modeling the rest of this bin so what I'll do is go to create sketch again select this plane middle mouse scroll to zoom in we go to create go down a slot center to center slot and I'll go from right here to about right there and move it upwards right click hit OK and now I will grab this profile right click press pull have it extrude all the way through change it from one side to symmetric so it does it on the other side as well hit cut and also what I'll do now is select this body and I'm going to isolate it. Select this surface, go to create sketch. Now I'm going to select center diameter circle and right from the center, click it once and I'm going to bring it to about right here, should be fine. Right click, hit OK and press pull this surface so I'll bring it about right here hit cut and at any point guys if you want to make it bigger you can just right click on the surface and just drag it out as you see fit if you feel it's too thin and I'm going to unisolate this bring in the rest to see the rest of the bodies so now we wanna make these rings so I'm gonna isolate these two surfaces these two uh, bodies one two right click isolate and I'm gonna make holes through these so I'm gonna select that surface go to create create sketch 
I could do the circles diameter circle, but I want to show you guys another way you can go about doing this. You can go to modify, offset, select that perimeter of that that uh circle, and you can just drag this blue arrow in. We'll make it about right there. Right click, hit OK. Select that surface, right click, press pull, and you can just pull that through, hit OK. And do the same with this. Right click, press, uh, right click, create sketch, rinse and repeat, so modify, offset, and you can always adjust these later on so it doesn't really matter if it's not as small or big as you want it to be. Right click, press pull, bring it all the way through, hit cut. We can unisolate these. Now we can work on this lid. So we'll what we'll do is just go to create pipe. Select this perimeter. We can just grab this blue arrow and make it as big as small as we need it to be. We we'll go to left view. That looks all right. So change it from cut to uh, new body, or you can make it join. I'll just I'll do join to make them one. And what I'll do is just bring this up just a little bit. Back to the right view. And I'm also going to pull this down a bit, so I'm just going to right click, move, and drag that down just a bit. About right there. Hit OK. I'm going to go to modify, fill it, or you could just press F on the keyboard, it's a little shortcut. Select that edge, and you can just bring it in just just a bit okay now what we're gonna do is if you look at the reference to the right you'll see that there's a hole through here so what we can do is what I'll actually what I'll do is isolate this right click isolate select that bottom surface go to create sketch and I'm just gonna offset this just a just a little bit So about right there. Hit OK. Select it. Right click. Press pull. I'm going to bring this up to about right here. So if you see the red area is what's going to be cut out from this. I want it to be really thin. Hit OK. Select that top surface. And I'm going to make another hole. I want it to be somewhere around here. And also, the reference that I, I actually use to begin with is in perspective view, so it's kind of hard to even see. So you guys see this? This is the reference that I'm, I have to use to model. That's why I created my own little, my own little blueprint, so it's a lot easier for me. I'm going to hit F to fill it this and this area is not really going to be seen but I like to smooth it out as much as I can right click unisolate now we have actually all our components except for one little um, the main area these little uh, legs or whatever you want to call it that patterns around the perimeter so once we have this here we can actually start dragging these two down, dragging everything to where it needs to be. So the rings need to move together. So I'm going to select body 26 and body 24. Maybe different for you guys. I'm just going to drag them down at the same time. About right here. 
Should be fine. Hit OK. I'm going to grab that bin. Right click, move. Drag that down. And the bin is actually flushed with this ring, like in the middle of it. So grab this arrow, bring it down a bit. Like right in the middle. Hit OK. Grab the lid. Drag this down. And that's going to go somewhere about here. Because once I actually add this last piece, it actually rests right on top of it. So I'm going to hit OK. And just so you guys can get a little preview, you can go to Canvas, turn that off, and see all the little components. All right, guys. So to finish off the last two pieces, first, I'm going to create this pipe going through the top. So to start doing that, I'm going to create a sketch, select the plane, grab the two-point rectangle, and from the center line, I'll do from here. To about somewhere around here should be fine so all I'm looking to do is just create a line that goes from here to here and I could have just created a line but I need this to revolve around so I'll hit finish sketch go to revolve and select the axes would it be that center point hit new body okay now I want to go to create pipe We'll create pipe. Make it right there. And I'll just resize this a bit. Let's see if this is fine. I can make it just a little, a little bit smaller. That looks to be fine. So make sure you change it from joint to new body. And now I can get rid of this so I'll just right click on that hit remove now as you guys can see we have that that shape that we want it now the last piece is this pattern that goes around here so I'm gonna go to create sketch and this is a tricky one because this is actually at an angle so it can actually loop around both of these rings. So what I'll do is just create a line. The line from about right here. To here. And this should be flat at the top. But it's kind of pixelated because that's what Photoshop does. So to, to get this little dotted line, you want to go to an angle or where the end is sharp and just move your mouse down in the angle. Don't click, just move it. And I'm just middle mouse pressing, dragging. So now that I have that shape closed off, I now have a plane. So from here, I can just select it, right click, press pull. And I have the width right here, but I'm just going to eye it for now. So I'll just bring it about right there. Change it from one side to symmetric. That seems to be okay. Go back to my right view. Now I can go to the bottom of the new body, right click on it and move it somewhere around here. But I'll have to adjust it because that image was in perspective. Now I'm gonna create a pattern on a circular path. So I'm gonna go to create, pattern, circular pattern. 
Make sure the pattern type is set to body, not faces. Select the object that you want to pattern, which is axis, you want to grab it and select any circle perimeter. And I'm going to do 17 or 18, so I'll, I'll check 17 first. That seems to be fine. Actually, I'll go to 18 just to make it a little tighter. Hit OK. Now, if we go to canvas, turn the canvas off, we'll see how it looks so far. It looks pretty good. And this is honestly all we have to do. We, we could always just be extra and add the two pieces that holds the bin from falling on the ground. So the pieces just go from here to here. Actually, I'll do that really quick. Why not? Since we're already done, actually. So I'll just select this surface at the bottom and go to Create Sketch. From that point, I'll just grab the two-point rectangle. And it doesn't really matter. As long as you're on one of these halves of the lines, draw a little rectangle because that's all it is that actually holds it together. Right-click, hit OK. And from this point, you can just select this profile inside the circle right click press pull and you're going to want to drag it up so about right there and instead of making it join change it to new body hit ok Before we mirror this over, I'm just going to add a little extra detail that it's minor. You don't really need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Go to create sketch, grab center diameter circle. I'm going to make a little hole right there. Select it, control C, control V to duplicate that. I'm going to just move it up. I could have mirrored it, but I eh, just decided not to. I'm going to hit finish sketch. And I'm going to select both of these. So by holding shift and selecting them both, I can just drag it up. I'm going to make sure you don't intersect with any other objects. All right, so we have the hole there. Now what I'll do now is go to create mirror. Make sure that's set to bodies, select that new piece, go to mirror plane, and you want to select the opposite plane, so it will be this one right here, hit OK, and now we have our um, receptacle that's actually done. So hopefully I didn't go too fast for you guys, I know I stumbled over it a bit, but um, we, uh, we, we made it. And if you want, if you want to like simplify this model, we can just go to... Um, Modify, combine, and we can combine these rings together. Actually, this one's far apart, so we'll just do these ones right here to about here. So shift select, make sure all those rings are selected, and hit join. Now all of these now belong to this level. All right guys, so before we take off, let's get a quick render, see how this looks. So let's go to design, render. Let's do a quick uh, in canvas render. All right, so here we are guys. I can honestly say this project was absolutely trash. <laughs> thanks for watching guys if you guys like it leave a comment leave a thumbs up um, recommendations for the next video let me know guys thanks